it's your more girl and welcome back to my channel today guys we are doing a haul yay yes we're doing a haul you know guys you saw the cart from last week the little caddy that i did for my bathroom well i'm doing my master bathroom now so i figured this time instead of me showing you the end of the master bathroom like i did the rose gold and i didn't get a chance to show you any diys or, or hauls where i got these things so i figured this time let me break up my master bathroom okay so last week I did the caddy and I want to show you some things that are on my caddy. I know it was kind of quick. I just wanted to show you the DIY. So today I want to show you what's on my caddy. Okay, and then we're going to do like a quick haul. It's not going to be a long video, just a quick haul. Just showing you some of the things I have for my mess bathroom. Again, my colors are like a blush and champagne color very very soft soft pink and maybe little hints and pops of pink and a little gold this is slight like a champagne gold okay i don't want anything brilliant i don't want anything hot pinkish i just want a nice subtle color all right guys let me show you what's in the caddy I did I got my jars that I need my essentials for so I went to Hobby Lobby and got these mason jars they're only about a couple dollars because it was half price in the Hobby Lobby last week and I just glued like hot glue um, my flower that I had from last year that I got from Michaels just on top so it can give me a nice pretty pop of pink like again I didn't want a lot a lot of pink on it just some little pops of pink guys so then I got that for Hobby Lobby. The next one, I have these jars here. These were $1.89 at Hobby Lobby's half price last week. And I just like painted them the same blush I did for the caddy just to give it some color. And, and here I just have, again, my little sponges that I would need. Again, so the reason why I made the caddy is I just needed something really small because my bathroom is like a galley kitchen. It's just straight. And we are going to go do a full tour towards the end of all of this, okay? And I am going to bring you on this journey of how I am doing it. So I just needed something really tiny. I didn't want anything hanging from the walls. I just wanted something I can roll to the bathtub. And then when I'm done, I just roll it back. Okay, so the other one, the jar, I got, I got two of these jars. And this one I put in my bath bombs. So if you're in the tub, you know, it's that thing that is when you're in the tub, it's like, oh, man. I should have got this. Oh, man. I should have got that. And also, guys, if you want your little, you know, wine or something like that you can put it on the caddy whatever you want like I said it's very small another thing I got is you know just like your um another thing was just you know how you we use our just sponges and stuff like that these are things that we just kind of want near us and you just are soaking in the tub and you hate to jump out the tub like oh darn I forgot something so these are the things that are on the caddy next thing guys I got on the caddy is this adorable little peak and gold trinket and the reason why I got this is when you're in the tub and you forget that your jewelry is on look all you have to do is put your jewelry in this little trinket I got from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $6.99 half off. So these are like 3 to $4 last week, guys. And you just close it up because you don't want to have your jewelry on, you know. And again, you just put it on the cart and everything is there is accessible. Originally, I was going to do that long board, you know, and just lay stuff on top. But I'm thinking, well, if I do that, I have one of those big garden tubs. It's kind of like oval so i'm like hmm, then what i'm gonna do with it i don't just want a board hanging i didn't want to risk mildew because of the wood i know a couple of diyers did them and they're gorgeous but they got these big master bathrooms and since my place is very small well it's smaller and it's more galley style i didn't want anything just hanging i wanted something that's going to be a decoration after i take a bath Guys, another DIY I did mm, over a year ago, and I didn't do, I didn't record this because I figured it was simple. A lot of people have done it. Was this glass container? It's like a vase that I got from the Goodwill, like over a year ago, and I just painted the stripes. And here you can see that I have the washcloths on here. So something like this on top of the caddy, you could put it in your like your 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 caps for your hair when you take a shower. I left it empty for washcloths, your caps, anything that you wanted to be like kind of like a decorative catch-all. I'm going to show you what my car looks like. So 
one here and this mason jar is the epsom salt and i have a scoop in here like a little scoop so i can just pour the epsom salt in there again my flour here is i put washcloths or if you have like just you know like a hair bonnet that you just want to use it as a catch-all if you're taking a shower here is my again my bath bombs my trinket and here you know i did the fur I have, again, I told you my sponges, my loofah, and some lotion. So again, you could take this out if you want, if some people would like to have a, like a glass of wine or something to drink. If you wanna prop up your iPad or your phone, you can just do that here while you're just sitting and soaking by the tub. You know, if you want, if this is to me is an alternative than having the little bath caddy that goes across your tub. So if a lot of you guys mentioned that you guys have carts just like this, a little utility cart. And I thought, you know, this was a good idea. When I first got the cart, I didn't know what to do with it. I just thought it was cute. I had no vision for it. But again, I figured, look, I painted it this beautiful, like pinky um, blush, sort of like a shimmer, like a champagne. And the reason why, when I showed you, I put gloss on it, always always put protective coating on these things because in my rose gold bathroom guys do you know a couple of the pieces tarnish because of the moisture i did not put a clear coat on it so please watch me watch that video again so when i sprayed it i gave it a coating i went back with some clear to protect it so it will not tarnish Okay, again, these fringes I got from Hobby Lobby. I used my uh, discount, and you saw how I glued it on. It didn't take that long. The material here, this, um, my alligator print material, remember this same material I got from Walmart a couple months ago when I did my vintage closet. So I had some leftover material. And then this fur, I already had it. So the only thing this cost me was $2.39 plus the paint. Okay, and the clear paint I already had. These mason jars, again, were a couple dollars. So I think this is just a cute idea, and it does roll. Now, I didn't finish painting the bottom of it, so the bottom of the wheels is going to be white. I'm going to paint them like I did my um, bar cart, so they're not finished yet. So um, I'm still doing my process of it. I might even paint them champagne, because I do have a champagne color paint. So I just left them to the end. I didn't take them off the painting, because I figured I was going to paint them anyway. So it's no big deal. And this is pretty steady, you know, for what it is used for. My bathroom and what inspired me because I've been in here a while and I just never did my bathrooms, you know. I waited so long to like de get my decor, my theme going on. So when I did the rose gold, I'm like, okay, I don't want too much rose gold here. And I wanted something very light. So my inspiration was this. Look at this. And I showed you the other one and I'm sort of loving this color okay and i know you can see it it's sort of like a blush it's kind of pinkish it's kind of hard to see in front of the lights but it's sort of like a pinkish tone um it is like a sort of like a blush i don't know if you would consider this as like a rose gold it's very light faint color so i figured this was my inspiration with some champagne a little touches of gold but i don't like i said i didn't want it too goldy goldy gold all right so i got this this so guys this was home goods and you can see the price here it was nine dollars and 99 cent so i got this piece the toothbrush and the toothpaste holder this was six dollars and 99 cent and of course, oh, sorry guys, of course you saw the beautiful, beautiful tissue holder. And this piece here, I believe was $9.99 or $14.99. I already have the tissues in here, sorry. So they did had a trash can. So you know what more girl did? I didn't get the trash can. So when I went back yesterday, it was gone. Well, you know, lessons learned as usual. Because I didn't think I was going to have space for a trash can, but I could have put it right next to the cart. All right, so I underestimated my space and I blew it. So I might change. So I might just kind of check out like other um, home goods. We have quite a few here in Las Vegas, so I'm going to see if they have that as well. But you know, you snooze, you lose. Also, what I got was this cheese by Nicole Miller. I got this cheese set. This was on clearance for $7. So I got this to go with, y'all remember this? That I did? Remember the cheese one I did a couple weeks ago and that I showed you guys? And look how it matches. Sometimes, you know, you go places and you look up. So look at the color match, okay? 
perfectly. So when I saw this and on this on clearance, I was like, oh, I gotta get that. So this is gonna be my cheese tray and this is gonna go on my bar cart. So when I entertain, when I entertain. Okay, I thought that was cute for $7. Another thing I got, and I'm gonna do the DIY on this one. Remember the blue um, appetizer tray that I did for a client? And I had to give it back to her. I'm like, I had it for like three weeks. I kept telling her, it's drying. It's drying for three weeks. Yeah, it was so gorgeous. And I'm like, oh man, I really like that. So what I did was I went to Goodwill for $2.99. And I got this plate. And it's huge. So, and I was going to paint the whole thing. And sometimes I like to hold off. Because I like the gold trim here. And it's going to really match. So what I might do is just do the resin here. I got this part from an old appetizer tray that I hauled a year ago when I did my silver. Okay, place it here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave the gold trim here. Maybe trim it and paint here or here. Okay, and then do a whole resin here and put this here and this will go on the bar cart as well. So it would be like a cheese tray and that would be for a fruit tray, okay? So when I do that DIY, guys, I will show you how I do that. Um, the last thing, nope, I got two more things for you guys. Do you see this? Do you see this? Look at this, look at this. You know your more girl had to find this. You know I love my martini glasses. Look at this humongous martini glass I got from Hobby Lobby. It was $39.99, half price, so it was $20, $19.99. So this was on sale. So this is going in the bathroom on my big long counter. And it's actually, I'm gonna put it on top of my rotating Lazy Susan glass that I hauled from Goodwill last year. And I'm gonna fill all of this with colorful bath bombs. And you know, guys, I'm doing my own bath bombs. I am not gonna spend $10 on a lush bath bomb. So I do my own. You see that DIY? If you wanna do it, go check that DIY out. So I figure I'm gonna do like peaches and, you know, yellows and like a row, you know, of this. And also, guys, I'm thinking about doing this. You know, I wanna blink it right. Remember I did these? blinged out remember these so i'm thinking should i bling wrap this can you imagine a long stem from this that i bling wrap going on here so i'm really really thinking about that guys so i would start from this point here and bling wrap into here and i think instead of the um white um gold i would use the gold to bling wrap this so it can get more of that shine but yellow gold so i might order that and just bling wrap this out put this on the lazy susan and it, it it'll turn i like the lazy susan because all these will be on here so when i'm in the bathroom because i have two um sinks and sometimes i'm at one sink or the other sink so the lazy susan i just turn so instead of moving it i just turn it okay it is beautiful and it's gorgeous so Again, guys, I think this was absolutely gorgeous. The last thing I'm going to show you are these curtains. So I went again to Home Goods and I got these curtains. These are sort of like a, um, it's like a mommy of a champagne. So they're not as dark as a gold. It's more of a champagne-y color. So these are just regular curtains. They were um, $13. They were on clearance and these are Laura Ashley's. And they are two panels that are 38 by 96 inch long. You see this here. So what I'm thinking about doing is, since it's going to be way too long, I'm going to cut the curtains. I don't like plastic. And I'm usually in the tub rather than the shower all the time. So I don't put plastic um, liners in my bathtub. I just don't. I'd rather just mop it up. I just don't like the liner because I'm usually soaking in the tub anyway with my bath bombs. So I figure, let me cut where it's too long and do a valance. So since it's short on one end, short in the other way, cut it and then make that a valance going across. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. I don't think I really need to do a DIY on this. I'm only going to cut it, hem it, 
using those like sticky hems that you get from Walmart that you could just press it and that's it. But I thought this was really, really cute. And I think this will really bring like a certain elegance to the room, a sort of finish to the room. And also one of my subscribers wants me to do another clock. So I'm looking out for the clock, you know, that I did in the rose gold bathroom, that I did my resin on it, and then I sprayed it. So I'm looking for a bigger clock because I have over the door going into my closet. And I will show you guys. Guys, let me know if you want to do an empty bathroom tour because that way I'd like to explain to you kind of what my vision is and where I want to go with this. Um, so over the bathroom door going into my closet my master closet is a big space so i don't need a small clock so i'm going to look for like a nice size clock something that's not expensive and then i'll resin that and make it sort of like maybe the bottom of it to be blush and then the top half to be marble but blush marble so i'm thinking or i mean i could do a marble but i'm not gonna do gray so it's no gray in there so i can do blush or champagne sort of marble effect and then the bottom blush i'll see as i go so that's one vision also i have that you know how we had those big mirrors so i'm thinking about bordering around the mirror okay and using the material i still have some of that leopard print material so i'm going to border my mirror around so again let me know if you want an empty tour and i can visually show you what i want done all right, guys, so that is my tour from home this i know you guys be like oh my gosh you went to a real store and spent some real money Yes, I did. I'm not always thrifty. Okay, 90% of the time I am. But if, like I said, if I don't see something from Goodwill, I have to go to the store and get it. All right, guys, this is your more girl. Thanks again. And I want to get a shout out to two of my subbies who are so sweet. Okay, one is Shelly. Shelly, thank you. She was in the Facebook group of mine. She's like, I love my more girl. And she had no idea it was me reading it. <laughs> did she find out? She's like, oh my God because no one really knows my real name and the second one is paula from the uk paula thank you so much for following me and thank you so much for being a subscriber guys all right guys this is your more girl so don't forget tuesdays um creators don't forget to check that out and my next diy will probably be plate here because until i can find the clock I would DIY that, but I have to find a clock first. Okay, so I'm going to check out Ikea because I know they have like big round clocks. I need something big and bold to stand out in that space. Um, And um, that's it, guys. So this is your more girl. Thanks again for watching my channel. And I will see you in a couple days. All right. Thanks for watching. It's your more girl. Take care.